Question 13. Under the conservatism principle, caution is used by recognising losses when expected and gains when certain, so that A. Assets and revenues are not overstated, and liabilities and expenses are not overstated. B. Assets and revenues are not understated, and liabilities and expenses are not understated. C. Assets and revenues are not overstated, and liabilities and expenses are not understated. And lastly, D. Assets and revenues are not understated, and liabilities and expenses are not overstated. Okay, so this question is very confusing. We've got a lot of words on this screen. So let's break it down and forget all about those answers right now and go back to the definition of the conservatism principle. What does it mean? Let's say we've got two businesses. Uh, this, this business owner owns two properties. One's in Richmond and it was bought for $500,000 and one in, one's in Paran, which was bought for $700,000. Now the value of property changes over time. So let's say today in Richmond, that market value of the property is 50,000 and the market value of the Paran property is 800,000. What that means is there's actually a gain or a loss uh, on each property. And in Richmond, we've lost $50,000 in value. It was bought for 500,000. That's value has gone down to 450. That's a loss of $50,000. On the other hand, Paran was bought for 700000 It's gone up to 800000 That's going to be a gain of $100,000. Let's get this back to the conservatism principle by looking at the definition. It says, we must use caution when preparing financial reports by recognising losses when expected and gains only when certain. Based on that definition, what does that mean? It means that for Richmond, we would actually value it at its new market value. We're not going to go with the old uh, cost price of 500. We'll go with the, uh, the market value of 450, and that's because we're expecting a loss of $50,000. Why are we doing it though? We're doing it so the asset value isn't overstated. Also, we're also going to recognize the loss, which means that our expenses won't be understated. On the other hand, the Paran property, we're not going to value it at the new market value of 800000 That would recognise a gain before it's certain. A gain would be certain when we sell the property. If we haven't sold it, that gain's not certain, so we keep the value at 700000 Why do we do that? We do it so the value of that asset isn't overstated, and the gain or revenue in terms of the $100,000 profit also isn't overstated. Going back to the question we were asked though, we've got a lot of answers here, so let's try and eliminate what we can. The first thing we remember with conservatism is it's all about being cautious and recognising the bad things, but not the good things until they're certain. Based on that, let's see if we can get rid of some things. So the first dot point for each of these answers says assets and revenues are either not overstated or understated. So we're going to be conservative, so the good things, assets and revenues, are not too high. So we want to keep overstated here and here, and we'll get rid of uh, understated here and here. We don't apply conservatism to make sure assets and revenues are not understated. So let's get rid of P and D. That leaves us with A and C. So how are they similar and how are they different? Well, the first point says we're going to apply conservatism so assets and revenues are not overstated. That's exactly what point C says as well. How are they different? Option A says, we apply conservatism, so liabilities and expenses are not too high. That doesn't sound right. What sounds better is we apply conservatism so our liabilities and expenses are not too low or understated. So based on that, we're going to get rid of option A and go with option C. This is a very difficult question because of the way it's worded. What's really important though is that you just know the definition of conservatism. And more importantly, you can apply it to a case study like the two properties in Richmond and Paran. When do you uh, write the value down and when do you write it up? Purely depends on your uh, application of the conservatism principle.